George, 818 right now, and up to 60 million Home Depot customers' credit card numbers were stolen in what might be the biggest breach of its computer network that the latest improvement Home and Store has ever seen. Yeah, personal finance expert uh, Erica Sandberg live with us on the phone right now to talk about this uh, latest data breach and what it means for all of us with credit and debit cards. Good morning, Erica. Hi, good morning. Yeah, quite a story here, and uh, there's some experts are saying this could be as large, if not larger, than what happened at Target last year. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's uh, slated to surpass the target breach by quite a bit. Now, I know uh, people, you know, it's a hassle for people, but the financial problems aren't as bad for us individual uh, holders unless we use a debit card, right? I mean, we're a lot, your people are a lot more protected using credit cards than debit cards. Is that true? Well, yeah, I mean, both are protected by, con by fantastic consumer laws. There's no doubt about it. You are not going to be held responsible for the charges or if they did use your debit card um, for the transactions that occurred with it. Uh, but you got to get on it. You know, you can't just, you can't just uh, assume that um, everything's going to be fine. You've got to check your statements, make sure if you do see something amiss, then you can dispute it. But if you don't, if, it, if you wait too long, then it's certainly possible that you will be held liable. For well, uh, Erica, well, then it's exactly what bugs me about it is that this was reported by the security uh, people almost a week ago, and they said the problem goes back to, they think, to April. <laughs> yes. uh, you know, that's, so they're dragging their feet. I remember reporting, oh, we're just checking it out now last week. It's like, why didn't they come forward sooner? Oh, Daria, let me tell you. I mean, it, it, it fills me with fury. Take responsibility. I, I hate to say it, but Home Depot reacted very poorly to this. They really, really should have stood up and said, yeah, uh, yeah, we were hit. Instead of, instead of just saying, oh, we're not positive, we're not sure, we're checking it out. Look, you were, you knew it. Take action. And we saw similar complaints, though, about Target. Their CEO wound up stepping down, and, and Target stores took major hits as people did, didn't trust using their credit cards there anymore. Yeah, you know, and it, it really is a case of, look, if you used your card, whether it's debit or credit, you swiped it. You had that magnetic strip. That transmitted the data. And it, and, and it happened. The malware was on the point of sale system. So if you don't update your system and make sure that the technology is as, as fantastic as it should be, you're culpable. Now, I know the credit card you disputed, they take the charge off right away, but with a debit card, are you out that money until uh, they resolve the dispute? You know, technically, yeah, um, but banks are all over it. Look, they want—they don't want you. They don't want to lose their business with you. They're going to make sure that the money is in the account and that you're going to be updated. But you know, it really goes beyond that. It goes—it goes to trust. How do you feel if you know that you shopped at Home Depot during that period of time, and your your credit card and debit card information is out there for sale mm -hmm. on the dark net? It feels crummy. It really does. You know, our credit cards are kind of antiquated compared to Europe, where they have chip-enabled credit cards. We just have that swipe on the back. Uh, do you think when the U.S. finally upgrades and our credit cards are upgraded, that kind of chip system, we won't see things like this in the future? Absolutely. There's been this huge shift by these cyber criminals to the U.S. to U.S. shores because we are so exposed, because we haven't shifted over to the um, the uh, the chip and pin or chip and signature technology. And you know, that's a major problem. You know, they're focusing on us because, hey, we're easy. We're easy targets. So absolutely, by, the, by when we finally adopt this technology, it's going to be a lot safer. But, hey, that doesn't happen until October of 2015. All right. Okay. Thanks a lot, Erica. And My in the pleasure. meantime, uh, go back over your credit card statements and watch your stuff for the last at least maybe four months if you shopped at any 2,200 Home Depot stores in the U.S. And we'll be right back as the Chrome 4 Morning News continues.